All right, so uh, today is gonna be uh, the grizzly planer day. Uh, winter kind of hit last week. Uh, I got up here, I got a load of wood uh, cut for the small house build uh, that I'm gonna be planing. I probably won't be planing uh, any wood for the actual house for a while, but for the small house build, I needed a plane, um, the siding and the roofing, roof decking and all that. So, but before I got started, uh, I just wanted to do a quick thing on uh, electrical uh, work because this is a 220 planer and I run it out of two different outlets. So uh, I, I looked all over trying to find this information because I'm not an electrician, but this is the this is the plug I use at the house and this is the plug that I use out here where the mill is. This is uh, on some friend's land. So he's got a little bit different plug than I do. Uh, the problem I had that I didn't realize is that when you look at this, uh, this has this is a four prong, but this is a three three wire eight gauge uh, cord that I bought. Um, I had the white, which is a ground, hooked into, or no, the white is actually another hot. I had that hooked into the W, uh, which is another. That's actually a ground. There's two grounds in this four four plug wire that I didn't know about. So I was actually only getting 120 uh, with it hooked up that way. So Y is your other hot and then X is your hot. And then obviously green is ground on this plug. So this one right here is a little bit different. Um, if I remember right, this is your ground and these, are, these two are your hot. So that's kind of how that works and actually it's got a W there so you know it's a ground. Um, that's uh, that's just a quick thing. If you got to do any 220 work, um, you'll probably need to know that. Uh, other than that, uh, here's the load of wood I have cut. Uh, I got kind of a, I cut this yesterday. It took me a few hours. I think three, three logs or four logs. Um, went pretty quick. Bunch of one by eights uh one by sixes uh, some four by fours and there's actually some one by tens in there too so they're all uh inch and an eighth right now i'll plane them down to seven eighths and then walk in here this is the planer uh, it's a grizzly five horse uh 24 inch planer i bought it from a guy that builds log, log homes uh, it's a really really good planer it's got a three horse in feed mortar. That's your blade assembly right there. Your feeder wheels. Two of those, bottom and top. A really, really powerful planer. It'll, it, I haven't bogged it down once. Um, the old panel, they still, this is actually still in production. The newer models look a little bit different. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll resume here in a little bit. Um, once I get the, these wires switched up and it plugged in, um, I'll kind of show you show you the planer in action and uh, the massive amount of chips it puts out. This thing's pretty cool. So uh, you're probably going to need one of these if you plan on building any of your own lumber. Um, this thing's been extremely helpful uh, for getting everything to dimension because when it comes off the mill, you know, it's pretty close, but it's not. It's not 100%, so this will take it to 100% and you're working with dimensional wood after that. So um, I'll stop there and kind of resume uh, here in a little bit once it gets set up. So I'm gonna splice this in really quick uh, before I actually get to running boards through it, but give you an idea of what it looks like. You got two buttons, one's a feeder button and one's the blade, so. <laughs> And it's a, this is a variable variable speed planer, so you can actually adjust, uh, you can adjust the speed of your feed right here. I got it on as slow as it'll go right now because I'm just feeding so much wood through it that uh, I don't want to bog it down. So um, I'll get set up again and start feeding boards.
right, so uh, since that last video about an hour ago, um, I noticed I was getting some pretty bad tear out uh, on my on my boards. Uh, if there's any serious woodworkers that watch my videos, they'll kind of have an idea. But I'll show you what tear out looks like here. Hopefully, it's not too dark. But see this? See the way the grain's popping out of that board? That's because of uh, dull planer blades. I can't tell you how much wood I've already ran through this planer, um, and the previous owner. He still had his blades in there, so who knows how much he ran too, but I went ahead and swapped out the blades and now you can see this is the board that I just put out. I mean, look at how nice that is. That's a that's as good as it gets right there. I got another board down below here, heartwood. That's right through the heart. You can see how nice and smooth. That's butter smooth. It doesn't get any better. So what I'll do is, um, kind of pick up where I left off showing you videos I'll show you another video with the sharp blades so you can see the difference kind of maybe even hear the difference of how the planer sounds it just it sounds a lot better um, when it's on sharp blades and I actually managed to cut myself pretty good putting the blades in there so um, I'll set you up right here you can see all the all this uh, duff or whatever uh, chips, bark chips is all from today. Um, if any of you have horses or livestock or anything in a barn, gerbils, uh, this is what they would love this stuff. So set you up right there, get her going. Alright, uh, I'll do one last bit before I wrap up the day here. I just wanted to show everybody um, what the final product looks like. Uh, this right here, this is uh, one of the boards uh, that I just finished up on. You can kind of see how nice it is. Uh, I measured it. Just, just if anybody's curious, this is a mini... You can read it here, mini L-I-G-N-O-E-D, whatever, Ligno, E-D, whatever that is, Ligno mat. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon. Ran me about, uh, I think around $100. I have the small um, tips in it right now, uh, and I have it set here. They give you this sheet, kind of tells you what, what you're after. Uh, this right here is Ponderosa Pine, so I just have it in the group three setting for pine. Um, some of the fancier ones, they give you, you know, a little bit more accuracy. And there's a there's an additional chart. I don't. I think I have it over here. Um, I'm not too terribly worried about the exact moisture content, uh, but you can adjust for temperature. So they give it in here, and I don't remember where I saw. It. Oh, here we go. So the temperature right now is probably around 41. Um, I got it indicated uh, moisture content of 16 uh, on one of the boards and 20 something on the other one. Um, it tells you, let's see, Celsius 41. It should say So 22, the actual, so in colder weather, the actual is higher. So um, it said 26, I think. So my, my actual is probably somewhere around 30%. So this is what you do. Just go ahead and stick it in there. So I'm getting a 19 right there. So that's probably about 20%. And then the heartwood, 20. 
and it, it varies like some of this stuff i think i saw a 17 right here oh, that's another 18. keep in mind that i cut this down um, cut this wood like three days ago so it's it's off it's down on the ground at 20 percent 22 percent uh and i think this particular one has probably been dead for three years two three years still had pine needles on the top uh, but this is this is a ponderosa pine bug kill finished plain uh 100 homemade out of the black hills in south dakota so pretty cool uh and that's uh that'll be the introduction for the the grizzly planer absolutely love it you can see uh you can see the pile of chips i did today uh, got to clean up here and call it a day hope that was helpful helpful for anybody that's considering getting getting that grizzly planer it's uh it's a beast it, it will not uh it'll not put you down so I'll let you go with that and uh, see you again on the next video.